was actually going to snag it and at least give you credit. Be like, by the way, this isn't what I'm with. I'm going to do it the salad mint salad way. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely going to do because that's such a. That was like, oh man, you're so smart, man. That's a really great, great way to uh, uh, review it. Uh, Niobe says, "Hell mint nine point eight. Hello, Niobe. And I noticed uh, here. Oh, look who it is, it's Frog, Frog Tony. Tony. Hello. Happy birthday. Can't wait for the topless comic book reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Tony. Whatever. I'm sure well, I though, should like, do that. Oh, <laughs> you could. I mean, why not, Mint? I mean, it's people something nobody's asked me to do like, it. topless movie reviews. I have like one. I mean, I am like in instead of like topless, I'm in lingerie. That's all my favorite. Right. I should do more of those. That's a good oh, idea. You should oh, comic book reviews topless. Yeah, <laughs> and have exclusive for like your Patreon or or, or you know your. I think your... the only problem is the discoverability. So right. Yeah. Right. But hey, do it just for the hell of it, man. Why not, girl? Yeah, it's just no Why discoverability not? on like in porn in general. Like compared right. to YouTube where it's like all safe for work and then you all got a whole algorithm. Yeah. Uh, you gotta have like a Twitter or like a Twitch or YouTube, TikTok, whatever social media platform secondary in order to right. even sell porn successfully. So oh, that's just okay. my comment on that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. That's good to know. Thank you, Tony, for the $10. I will play a clip for you uh, real quick because I see another super chat Ooh. coming in. Thank you, Tony. And uh, I would say, why don't you do it naked? But see, nobody sees you, Tony. So mm -hmm. what a waste. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Here, here's a good one. Right? No problem. Well, show me. Okay. You got to get a little uh, grit in your shin, a little... Clean your knee, a little charm in your arm. I don't bounce up and down so much. Look who's talking. <laughs> you know, I think Tony should VTube. He should create a VTube, like, frog guy. He should be a VTuber. Yeah, yeah Tony, why are you not a VTuber? Frog Tony VTube. VTuber Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's a better chant. VTuber Tony. VTuber Tony. You know? VTuber Tony. VTuber. Yeah. <laughs> Snap, snap, get on it, Tony. Uh, you're supposed to be grifting. If you became a VTuber, you would totally beat me in the tor tournament, yeah. dude. There's like a the huge audience. Grift. There's so <laughs> many, there's a big audience for VTubers, and it's much more interesting to look at than just like a, a, a screen, a, a screen, like a, a photo of a frog. Honestly. Yeah. Like, I want to see a VTuber's moving. mouth, I want to see a frog's lips move. That would yeah. be weird. <laughs> that in and itself is enough for me to keep watching. Tony, you gotta do it now. You gotta yeah. do it now. You know, I know you gotta you pop it. To. <laughs> but VTuber is the way to go. Tony, you'd be the total grifter in CG. I mean, come on. You have so you much maintain possibilities your there. chosen spot. You, you right? maintain your position. Exactly. Uh, Andrew Rowland for the five dollars. Good to see you, Andrew. Hope you're doing well. I'm getting ready to print King of Justice number one and sell it on my XP comic site. Hope y'all buy a copy and review it. We will definitely. Uh, try to send me the link to that when you when you uh, get it up for sale. I'll make sure I pass the link out to other chats that I'm moderator on. And uh, yeah, no, men and I will definitely uh, get it. We'll review it. Thank you so much, Andrew. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing good. I haven't talked to you in a while, but. Thank you so much. And uh, you know what? Here. So who is this fun guy? Uh, what was it? Um, Kale. Barnett. Kale. Barnett Kale. Yeah, That's you got me. I don't believe it. Uh, oh, Barnett ain't done nothing but lie to me and cheat on me and treat me like this. Don't tell me she's mad. Now he's messing with the only Jesus. Then you can raise hell or cuss out anything you want around here, but unless you're tired of living. I wouldn't oh be swinging God. that name Barnett Kale around here no more. <laughs> was that Sylvester Stallone? Yes. And the previous uh, clip was it Tim D Allen? No, the previous clip was Sylvester Stallone. The the one you're talking about, the sheriff that that is um, that's not Tim. That's um. Oh, I can't believe I forgot his name. But no, the guy you saw the past two clips that's 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 Stallone. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. 
uh, straight okay. beans, Dolly Parton, and Slough were in a movie together. Yeah, it's called uh, Rhinestone Cowboy. It's Rhinestone something. Uh, just go to Google Dolly Parton and you get the list of all her movies. Yeah, they did a movie together. They did a song together as well. Uh, yeah, apparently their, their music was pretty big back then. Uh, uh, I had her name totally spelt wrong in my phone, by the way. <laughs> I had uh, Burt Reynolds. Burt that's what it is. Burt Reynolds. That's right. That's his name. Thank you, okay. Chad. Thank you. Uh, Sly Stallion has a comic. Sly Stallion? Who's Sly Stallion? Why is that name Sly Stallion? Hmm. Why is that Sly not Stallone. ringing a bell? Stallion? Sly, Sly Sloan. Not Stallion. Jesus Christ. It's like, that's fine. <laughs> I'm blonde, guys. It's called First Kill. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Sly Stallone? That that's the nickname for Sylvester Stallone. He's also oh. known as the Italian Stallion. Well, yes, the Italian Stallion. I, I do yes. remember him being called that. Yeah. Uh, it took me six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So that that. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Let me check the other people in the chat. Or like I say, I appreciate you. Uh, definitely. Uh, helping out. Tony, you know it would work. Don't laugh. You know it would be great. Come Green on balloon in honor of Frog Tony. There you go. For you, Frog Tony. For you. And uh, let's see here. Uh, is it a Rocky comic? Uh, no, I don't know. Barb, it's, well, first kill. Well, you could mix the two. Uh, oh, Barb said she's going to look it up. Yeah, look it up and let me know. Rocky. Yeah, the Italian stallion. He looks so young, too. Like, it's crazy how young him and Dolly look back then. But yeah, guys, they did a movie together. Apparently, there was a soundtrack with it. They did a song together. Um, I haven't watched that movie in so long, but because um, I would remember the name if I did. Uh, so, thank you, guys. Uh, let's see. I yes. Sizzle Chest, Google Playgirl, Burt Reynolds, Centerfold. Google Playgirl, Burnt Reynolds, Cinefold. Well, let me do that. Why not, guys? Before I wrap everything up, let me see here. Let me see here. Let me move this over here. Ah. So, I'm Mint, what do you have it. plans? What, real quick, Mint, what plans do you have for this week? What, what you got going on on your schedule? What do streaming? I got going on? Um, yeah. So, uh, recording Men's Salad Saw. That's pretty much every day. Uh, what are they? Okay, so Star Trek, Twilight Zone. Uh, I recently watched Big Trouble, uh, the 2002 movie. Have you seen that? Big Trouble. Oh, God. Who's playing in it? Uh, Tim Allen's in it. Um, oh, fuck. Who else is in it? I have to see. But... It Tim was, Allen. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That movie. It was uh, off of my Patreon request. I do Patreon request um, movie reviews for $20. Patreon.com slash ASC Presents. So, uh, which movie? It was Big Trouble 2002. In 2002. And also, they have a TSA joke in it. <laughs> There's a TSA joke in it, and it's like how incompetent the TSA is. Oh, I, you know? I think I've seen that movie, yeah. See, I haven't watched movies in so long, um, since high school days, because, you know, getting out there and all, but, like, movies have sucked over the years. The last movie yeah. I watched was uh, Lawless. Lawless? Uh, and it, Lawless, and it had Shia LaBeouf in it, and it was about Franklin County moonshine because it's near where I live, and uh, and it's it's about the moonshine business back then in Franklin County. It's a really good movie, uh, and that was the last that was the last one I watched. And it got it's been a minute, so let me see. I see the Indiegogo. I'm trying to, to pull this up. This is crazy. Can't believe that. All right, let's see if I get to it. Okay, hold on. 
Lawless is 2012. All right. First Kill graphic novel, Rambo's first tour of duty, story oh. by Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Dixon includes free set of dog tags. Ooh. Wow. Cool. Dog tags. <laughs> That's I can get dog tags here. This is a dog there you tag go. Sport. <laughs> let's see what the trailer looks like. Let's see what's let's see what ah. Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and the first kill graphic novel Indiegogo campaign is now live. Rambo's first tour of duty, story by Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Dixon. Free set of dog tags with every order. In May of last year, I got an email from Chuck Dixon. It said, sit down before you read this. And he's like, Stallone wants to do a book about Rambo in Vietnam. I'm like, let's go. So it's the first kill graphic novel. And then there is a brand new comic book written by Will Jordan, the critical drinker, called A New Kind of War. It's about <laughs> Troutman, Rambo's mentor, during his days as a young officer in the Korean War. As many people, but not everyone knows, Stallone is a writer in addition to being an actor. He created Rocky. He wrote Rambo movies. He wrote all of the Expendables movies. So I had always gotten into my head that Rambo was this loner, morose character his entire life. And Stallone is like, no, he was the captain of the football team. This is Rambo before he's special forces. So he's a regular Joe, just in the common ranks, before he distinguished himself and caught the attention of Colonel Troutman and got recruited for the Special Forces. So First Kill has the main cover by Dale Keown, and he's revved up. Oh. He's working on it right now. The hardcover is by a living legend, Simon Bisley. We're talking Lobo, Batman versus Judge Dredd. Aaron is doing the bulk of the story at 40 pages. Other 24 pages. I'm going to try to up the quality because I can't really Pages see it that Pages of way. First Kill are by Renzo Rodriguez, Butch Geis, Matt Barr, and Kenneth Lowe. So here is the line art by Aaron Alfici. This will be colored wow. before he it paused. goes to print. And yeah. come on. I mean, the phrase. Uh, All right. Oh, man. Is there a way to zoom? What website is that? Is there a way to go to that website? I want to yeah, see the it's... art. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Uh... I got to get this book. Yeah. It's I'm Indiegogo. Like... It's Matt Bar art. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, uh, let's go down. There we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, that's as much as it's gonna. Oh, come on. All right, I guess that's close. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh yeah who's who's all on it Del Keon. i mean i do th it's a fun idea the art um hmm are you able to click on the art is that a function i've never tried that before no mm -mm. Okay. the best you can do is zoom it in okay oh look at that face that is matt Barr. i've seen that before that face, <laughs> that's supposed to be Sylvester Stallone. And do you have a photo of Sylvester Stallone? No, let me. Yeah, that. Yeah. There's that. Go look at that guy. And look at look at that guy. And look at that guy. Just just keep showing it off. Just keep showing off the differences. You gotta see. Look at that guy is supposed to be. That guy is supposed to be that guy. That's a different <laughs> face structure. Look. Look at it. Look. It's off. Yeah, it it's, it's off. Oh my <laughs> god, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Barb, you are amazing. I did not know about this at all. I, oh I, wow, what a coincidence. I had forgotten about this. I, as soon as I... As soon as I saw this art, I was like, oh, what the fuck? That's Matt Barr art. You know? This is Matt Barr. For sure. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is supposed yes, to be a frog. 
Uh, this is not a frog. <laughs> Did you get Hold it on. done? Yeah. This is not a frog. <laughs> this is Here, not okay. a frog. But this is Tony. Wait, let me, uh... Show it off. I oh, can't God, really it. see it. I'll, I'll make sure to adjust it until you can see it. God damn it, fucking camera, stop that! Why did why does my camera do that? <laughs> oh wait, I think I see it a little bit of it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Tony. <laughs> The chosen one. The chosen one. <laughs> uh, Matt just needs to chill. Yeah, Matt needs to chill the fuck out. The yeah, thing, he's, like, he's such a baby, dude. Like, get the hell out of here. Like, why are you just being so... Why are you fighting on the internet, Matt Barr? Oh. Matt Barr. Is fighting on the internet, is fighting on the internet, and fighting on the internet. Matt Barr is fighting on the internet, is always fighting on the internet, is fighting on the internet. Holy shit. God, I can't, I can't deal with that. That's it. Man. Like, how do you spend your whole day fighting with people on the internet? It doesn't fucking matter. Like, who, who cares, Matt? Like, it, oh my God. Trying to figure that man out would be like, Figuring out the, like an unsolved crime, like mystery. I don't know. You you can't ever figure Matt out. But that's crazy. I didn't know about this. Okay, look at the. I want to. I'm curious about the coloring style. Yeah. Um. It looks like it's it's like a digital imitating a watercolor. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, like but this right here. I have watercolor brain on my mind because I've been watercoloring lately. <laughs> well, you're right. It does look like some watercolor. I it's splotchy. Yeah, it's very like splotchy. right here in the last panel. Hmm. Um, I mean, I like. I mean, hmm. I like the aesthetic. But I'm not. I'm kind of iffy on the anatomy, like about that arm, that hand. That hand yeah. is kind of small. It is, and then like, my I hate my mouse is not showing up. But there where his fingers are, the the barrel of the gun, it's black. You see what I'm saying? Like it looks like the tips of his fingers are black. That's holding the gun. That's true. Yeah. What I, it. It's we it is kind of interesting. I find it intriguing. I'm not really I'm not a fan of that. It kind of just makes it look like he has two big claw hands like with big nails on the each of the end of them. Yes. And then like a yes. stub thumb. It just looks like he has like a T-Rex hand or something. So oh that's exactly what it looks like. It does. <laughs> Oh my god. Now this is good. This is just from Dale King, uh, King I really like the colors on this. The colors are great. Um, you got the blue shadow, the green midtone, and then it goes up more. You got the yellow green, and then it goes to you got the yellow highlight, which I like, and then we have yeah. in the background orange, and then a little getting a little bit darker red, and then finally maroon. I like it. It's really yeah. well done. I like, I think the colors are really well done. Yeah, I agree. And then the detail of like the dirt on them that they're like him holding onto the soldier and, and you can see the veins in his hands. Yeah. But I do like the outlook, like the, the sun and everything with that yellow frame going around them. I do like that. Now this is this is this is much better. This is much yeah. better. Chapter three, line art by Matt Barr. <laughs> so what was so what was the okay? Are there credit? The, are there credits for the the pages up there that we just saw? 
Like, um, okay, most of these are covers. Okay, this is by Kenneth Loth. Uh, Kenneth Law. I liked that one. A New Kind of War. That's a really cool name for that piece. Yeah. Kenneth Lowe. I like that cool. one. That's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Chuck Chuck Dixon too. Wow. Ooh. Okay. That's cozy. Uh, kind of. I just the just the colors. I like the how muted the colors are. It may it's like earthy, down to earth. It gives me a down to earth vibe. Um, this is interesting. Unless there's like room for the right upper right side of the panel to have a speech text bubble. Yeah, right here at the top. Yeah. Yeah, there's that, and then the bottom panel. That if there's like a a speech bubble at the upper top, upper top right corner, like where there's just a bunch of sky there. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a if there's a speech bubble there, I think that'll look, pre look pretty cool. Otherwise, eh, you know. Yeah, something like you see on a calendar. Yeah, you know, like uh, things like this on you you would see on a calendar. Yeah. Okay. So here we got. Ooh. It's a. I like the depth on the first panel. Yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah. Good field. A uh, good, a good amount of depth there. All right. So I like those. I do like the style of this. It's very um. It remind. It's like a. It's a crossover of. It reminds me of a crossovers of like fifties. Like you know, fifties era. Plus, yeah, I know. A little saying. bit of like a manga look, you know. But yeah, like, also western, westernized because there's like more background detail. And also colors added to the background. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I do. Yeah, you explain it a lot better. Yeah, I see yeah. it. What? Oh, what is... Oh, this is cool. Look at that. It kind of looks like a... It looks... Um, it looks like a photo filter is what it feels like to me. But I yeah, really like... like it it looks room. really cool. Yeah, yeah, but this, this looks cool. The rug roof. Yeah, the yeah. Roof looks like shit. This actually yeah. looks good. Like you could actually tell what it is. Like you can make out the details yeah. of it. If it, it's it just matters if it's like executed well. If you want to use like like a photo filter, it really has to be like the point. Like yeah, I'm going to do that. Plus, I'm going to like really enhance the textures, and so like it really looks like the outside or something. If you're going to go for that, you have to really go for that. If you're going yeah, to try course. to do it, you can't be like doing Blood Ruth and be like, oh, actually, if it looks like photo filters, people are calling Blood Ruth out for being photo filters. Uh, and then you're just denying it. Like, nah, it's not that actually. Uh, that's when it goes bad. Yeah. Okay. You're not leaning into it. It's not for art's sake. It's just everyone's critiquing him for not creating good art, and he doesn't understand. Eric July. That's what I'm talking about. That's the subject. And I am getting wound up. I need to cool yeah. down. It's time to it's chill okay. down. It's okay. You got it, girl. You take a deep <laughs> breath. No, it's it's just frustrating because, yeah, as soon as yeah. I saw this, I thought of that blood roof about that shit they put out. I'm like, but this one is so much more clear. As a normie like me, when I see this compared to the, the blood roof shit we've been seeing, this is more clear. I can make out the details. I could see the horse really good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not smudgy. I feel like yeah. it was more like smudgy. Like I didn't, couldn't, too much darkness. It was too saturated, right? Yeah. That's the word I'm thinking of. This is, this is like a perfect balance. Yeah, yeah, this looks like, this is what the photo filter is aiming to look for. Yeah. See, I like, like right here. Like on the um, panel on the left, bottom left with the horse with the legs. That's yeah. nice. I can make out what that is. You know, like yeah. I can see the, the muscles in the horse's legs. And yeah. It's a world. I feel like I'm in yeah. the world. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Jesus. That is cool. Okay, here's this one. What is uh, this? Uh, I is think this we know. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not sure what type of perspective he's trying to do there in the second panel. <laughs> or the first one. What yeah, is well, there's perspective. He's his perspective's not is it's not it's not, you know, doing well. Well, and then the second panel here, like this good dude over here on the left has like the goofiest look on his face. Look at that. Holy shit. Shit, that's bad. Dude, look at the perspective. <laughs> you know you you look okay, what do you have to say about the all of these guys? In your opinion and Okay, if we if we have that shot on that Jeep. That means that the guys standing outside of the Jeep are probably three feet bigger than the guys in the Jeep. Look at how huge that guy is. He's like he's like yeah. himself. He's six feet away from us, right? He's six feet. Well, actually, he's probably 12 feet away from the camera. He is at least six feet further back than this edge right here of the Jeep, right? Because he's in the back of the car, not in the cab of it, sticking up through the top. Uh, and he's huge. He is so tall. If he were standing outside of the Jeep, he'd be bigger than Gyra. <laughs> like, uh, it's just a disproportionate cartoonist failure in understanding anatomy and size and perspective. It's sad. Hi, Katie. Yeah, but hey, Krampa. Well, the thing of it is, too, like on the second panel here, like, like the, the, the expressions on this dude's face, it's goofy as shit. Like, I, what are they smiling? I mean, I know there's no dialogue in it. But I'm like, but why? Why are they so giddy? Like, I don't. The faces look weird to me. I think that's what's confusing me. Their expression is confusing me in this picture. It looks uh, half lazy. All it's like, what emotion are is he trying to convey with these characters? That's I don't, yeah. I I think I don't know if he knows emotion. <laughs> Does he like know emotion, emotion enough? Yeah, what emotions do you know, Matt? Are you able to tell what facial expressions are and then uh, put them in your art? The only I know I can because is. I'm autistic and I don't look at faces, but I have, you know, I've been looking at faces, getting better at that personally. <laughs> but you know, I think it is important to learn how to do facial expressions as a professional artist. Yeah. Yeah. I t it's and then like the guy in the jeep that's driving why is it blue like why is that dark blue like i don't know i don't get it i don't get it um, um you know what i'm saying how like, are these pages matt should do like a gru i don't know if you know what gru is katie you no know. but mike matt should do like oh, cartoonist comics not like real people comics he can do like silly characters, like like Gru. Oh yeah, that's what he should be doing. Because this this is uh, I, I think this book should be it. serious. Mm -mm. Okay, Matt, look at this. Ooh, no, no, with, with Matt, look at this. Ooh, that looks great. Look at that. The other is so good on the Dude, these these artists are great. Like. Everyone except for Matt Barr, honestly, it's it's a noticeable drop in quality looking at Matt Barr compared to all the other artists. That's why he's yeah. in the middle, by the way. So yep. people forget. Uh, <laughs> you do that in essays too. And if you know if you're writing an essay, put your weakest point in the middle so you only remember the beginning and the end. True. Yeah. And uh, and TJ Laser says, uh, and this guy has the nerve to go at go at Finbar. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, he thinks he knows everything. I'm sorry, Finbar's got more talent than he does. Um, especially after looking at these panels of Matt Bar. But this here, this is nice. I like this. This is like old school, mm, like 70s, 80s style color. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like. It's the feel like it when I see it. That's nice. Uh, I like it's like neon. Yes. More saturated. It's more neon because of the stark contrast between the back being black, the background being black, and then you have bright colors 
and so it's like glowing it's also a little bit glowing but you know yeah it's it's stark contrast i really like it so you got I like that too is that plane colliding with the uh what is that plane doing is that is it colliding with the matrix there can you go up to the first panel Yeah, what is that plane doing? Uh, that's the part I'm trying to figure out. And then it... it oh, it's, it's... it's He's got out of the plane and exploded. Okay, he ejected himself out of the... He got hit. The plane's going down. Okay. And he injects himself out of the plane. And then, yeah, the plane explodes. Okay. Okay. Oh, then that's what, like, the... It's... it's it's like a digital world kind of thing then going on because on the outside you can see the the digital effects like the first panel yeah cool and world building mm -hmm. i like it all oh, right and this one is from aaron lefetch i can't read that this is rambo chapter six page one. Oh, this is nice Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. They end, they're, they're just going through the jungle. Mm -hmm. And the colors are nice. They're very, um... What is it called? Is it Monochromatic. Mean, is it meme or does their, their shirts look weird? Like it's just um, webby. It kind of it's their shirts. It, it just it just seems their shirts are the the line arts drawn to define their muscles. At least on the guy on the right, um, right. The, but the one on the weird. left, yeah, the one on the left is a little more odd, but it's still good though. I'm not sure what the bar. string thing is. It like spider webs going on from his hips to his torso. Not that I could see, no. I'm. It's uh, yeah. It's confusing there. I don't know what. Yeah. It's, like okay. I, I just want to make sure it wasn't just me. You know. Yeah. I hadn't like looked closely, but like looking at it afar, it looks. It looks all right. I think their values mm. they could you, make it a little bit more starker contrast. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to make it so it's like they're in a spooky setting, make the background darker. Yeah, see, like, TJ, TJ sees it too. Their shirts like okay, so yeah, TJ sees it too. We, he sees, what, and then he says Rambo's crotch area. If that's Rambo, what are you doing looking at crotches, TJ? <laughs> We're not even looking at those. Like, is he talking about, it, like, right here? Like weird, those are weird crotch lines. Yeah, they, those yeah, are weird crotch lines. Are. You gotta think of it like, it's, I don't know. Actually, what the fuck? I don't have a penis, so I don't know what it would look like in pants. <laughs> so, I know TJ observing over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one right here. He, he, he. I do like uh there's a good depth here. I like it. Yeah. It, it's something about it is cozy. It's like fan a fan fantastical. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I get what you're saying. I can't think of the word, but yeah. Okay, same Ooh. guy. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Top panel. Yeah. That's nice. Um Yeah, that's real nice. And then this one, I hear the lighting coming from their back. The lighting is good here. With yeah. the shadow and light. And I do like since the uh, on the very left the very right side of the panel there is lighting established. And then on the mm -hmm. second panel the on the first panel there's lighting. And then yeah, right there in the back. Yeah, there's like a lot of lighting there. And then they're like you know, closer to the left side, but like the there's clearly lighting coming from that same like vertical uh, that same vertical axis from the first panel down to the second panel, and I really like that. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was intentional, but I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really good. Barb. Barb, look at you. Look at you. Giving me another gift of five memberships to the chat. Thank you so much, Barb. You you are just kicking some ass. Look at you. Nice. And uh, yeah, Woo-hoo. thank you so much. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate that. Kicking some ass and so is Dolly. Look, I got a gun out there in my purse. <laughs> and up to now, I've been forgiven and forgetting because of the way I was brought up. But I tell you one thing. If you ever say another word about me or make another indecent proposal, I'm going to get that gun of mine. And I'm going to change you from a rooster to a hen with one shot. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Barb, <laughs> for the membership. And also, I like that clip a lot. <laughs> good. I'll have to send it to you. Mm-hmm. you Got to watch it. It's a good movie, too. Really, really good. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate you. Uh Barb spreading the gold around. Yes, she is. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. I appreciate you. Yeah, I, I do like the way he's complimenting the light there. That's really nice. Even in this panel right here. Look, the lighting coming from behind them. It's still consistent. Yeah, it's all coming from one side. Yeah. I like it's it. Good. Yeah. And uh, the the colors, you got, you got blue, you got orange. It's nice. It's like the main colors and they got some greens. And I like that. It, it feels cozy. It feels like I'm on a camping trip. It feels like I'm in the world. That's what I really like about comic books is when I feel like I'm in the world. Right. They yeah. suck you right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at We got Ooh. a lady here. Oh, with the Ooh, a lady. She's a tall lady. She's Holy a shit. tall, tall, tall drink. Of, what was it they call? Tall glass of water right there. That's that's what I tell you what. Look at that booty. Ooh. Man, look at the booty. Nice. Look at that Asian that Vietnamese booty. That's really She's nice. I like, well. Yeah. Her figure's really nice. I like, I really the, like the shadows. Style. Yeah, where it's coming. Yeah, yeah from like from the from the leg. Like and mm-hmm. then there's like a heart shape uh top and it's like this white. I like that. It's very good. Yeah, it's really good. Heat. Wow. I might just back this book. I might get this book. I mean, I don't care for Matt, but there is some good stuff in here. And it's Rambo. You know? Who's like, this artist right here? Did you read who it was? It's still Aaron. It's still Aaron. Okay. Lefetchi. I, I, can't, I can't see this last name spelled out. But it's Aaron. Okay. Cool. It's still the same guy. Um, The one thing I would Ooh. say... The middle panel, it looks like the line art is significantly dark, uh, lighter than like the rest of the, the page, and I and it, it's kind of it kind of, the character blends in with the background a little bit. Yeah, it does. They're not really standing out from it. I I, I would like would add more inking to it, more color. Yeah, uh, uh, just more just more line art. Just add more thick. Just make the current lines thick. Thick yeah. enough. Yeah, in a, in a stylistic way. So. Uh, Michael Slum, call, a tall drink of water was calling someone stupid. No, it ain't. It's, it's supposed to be a... Where I'm from, it's supposed to be a compliment of seeing a, a, a long-legged a woman. Pretty woman with long legs. Tall glass of drink, tall glass of water. I think that's whatever. The point is, it's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, yes. What, like, okay, so what does that mean? What is a tall drink of water like visually? Like yes. Why is yes, it? It's just, what is that called? It got legs. Well, it's the long legs. I think the best way to describe it is this: the woman has very nice long legs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I don't know. We come up with sh- weird shit around here, man. It's Virginia. We come up with weird shit, okay? What? I'm curious <laughs> about the phrase, a tall drink of water. But, like, <laughs> where, what does it come from? Why is it referred to a woman stupid? I'm actually curious. <laughs> I don't, like, that's the I thing don't is, know. I never heard of it called a woman stupid. I never, I never heard it called a woman stupid. Never. <laughs> Are you a Yankee, Michael? So, Are you a Yankee? Just kidding. Just kidding, kidding, guys. Kidding, kidding. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's it's a Yankee? A... Oh, Northerners. Oh. We're here in the South. Up in the uh, North. 
and northeastern okay northeastern yeah. uh that's the only place in the u.s i have not visited but everywhere else i have except for alaska you know Oh yeah, well Leighton can tell you all about Alaska. He's he lives he obviously lives there, but he it's he's the man of knowledge of Alaska over there. So Ooh. if you ever curious about it, talk to him about it. Uh, Alaska, he, uh, Alaska. Uh, yeah, we come up with weird shit here, man. It's hmm. but yeah, that's that's what it is. It's up north. We call them that's Yankees. What it South is? <laughs> what it? Oh my god! What it is? Fuck you, Eric. I hate you for getting that. Is. We got a what it is counter. <laughs> I, I, I told Tony, I was like, maybe we should make a jar. And every time you say what it is, you put a quarter in it. And see. <laughs> see That's actually a really good idea. Uh, but I also, uh, from the. Okay, so Eric July has the For Canon's Sake podcast. Starting from episode one, in all the way to episode four, he has said, what it is eight times that's the Jeez. official counter so far we're documenting every what it is we're going to go through all of them we're going to go all through the four canon sake of eric july yeah so, i see i'm doing it, that we're going to get the official it... what it is counter <laughs> well that's the thing is like i feel like he says it more now than he did back then like I don't maybe it's just because we're paying attention to it more. I don't know, but it's good that you got the counter going on. Uh that. he definitely I mean when he first starts to speak in those podcasts, the way that he speaks is like, okay, he, let me let me let me do an entertaining version of what he does. <laughs> um Hey, this is Eric July. This is yes I am. I I backwards as my band. I have a comic pull list, and oh, the first comic pull list. The first comic pull list that I got <laughs> is the Sasuke Sisters. <laughs> and uh, okay, I really liked it. And did you know that uh, the the the, the Sasuke's look? I like this comic. Cool. It's a cool comic. Well, I'm going to talk more about uh, nothing about comics, more about <laughs> politics stuff. And then briefly oh. mentions comics for 30 seconds at the end, you know? He's, I really don't think he knows much about comics. Like, I'll say this he probably knows more than I do, but like, I. Uh, Watch him and like talking to Tony and the other guys about it. Like they're all like, "This guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He he knows nothing of the the comic books. He's he's claiming to be like the big super fan of comics, and it's it's like, dude, everybody else around here on Comicscape could beat the shit out of him on trivia. Like if he did comic trivia, he would he would fail miserably. I I believe it, especially from what uh, they've told me about it. So yeah, uh. Let's look through Ooh. a little bit more of these. Oh, good God. I like this. Um, I like the first panel. I'm not sure exactly what's happening in the second panel at a at a at a glance, but I I can see the longer I look at it, at a glance, at just like a courtesy glance, not looking at any details. It's hard to tell what he's look what I'm looking at. But Panel by panel, it's supposed to be intimate. I look at every detail. I like it. It's very detailed. I'm it supposed is, to look at it. My only thing is, it's very mushed down here at the bottom panel. Yeah. Like, it's all, like, I can't... Like you said, first glance, it looks all, like, mushed together. I guess that's the best way I can... But yeah, yeah no, very... you're right. It's very detailed, but it's... I think maybe this little this little box, little panel right here, it's just put somewhere. I don't know, make the border more thicker, I guess, so I can. I don't know. Okay, At actually, okay, I okay. Here's another thing. Um, I think there needs to be a more clear decision on what your main focus is in each panel, with the values. Like, like for example, there's like the direct middle panel. There's like two things. There's like two things that are, you know, 
the same shade of gray, the background and also the subject. And it's like, well, I don't know, make the background a little bit darker. Just just more values. Add just more consideration for values. Just make it the thing pop more. Right. You know? It makes yeah. it much more easier to read too. Yeah, I agree. But, you know, I yeah. like I like the level of detail. Like lighter strokes it's- next time. <laughs> kind right. of real. Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. the idea where they were going with it, but yeah. You need to put some yeah. Okay. Okay, see this one's a little the top panel. That's a little oh, more yeah. clear. Top, yeah, the top panel. Yes, I like the top panel. This is more clear cuz there's yes, I like I like these guys are very very much the focus cuz they're yeah. contrast in the background. And Michael Salm, uh, he says, to be honest, it's jungle warfare and you're supposed to blend into the background. Yeah, that's I get a that. good consideration. I yeah, have not that's, that. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's a good idea. That's a good thought there, Michael. Yeah, we didn't think yeah. about that. Yeah, I'm totally convinced now. I'm actually, yeah. Yeah, like, well, you're not supposed to know what they where the enemy's at, so and you're kind of like in close quarters. So if that's like the what the if that's like the style that's supposed to convey, then yes, I like that. And t- I I also appreciate intentionality too. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, then and I guess too, the goal is to get you to look at it more, look at it yeah. longer. You know, not just flip through the page and see, next sit there and give it a good look like yeah the detail man i feel like such a noob now talking about this (laughs) i'm like oh damn it i've oh man i missed the entire point oops but we didn't but we're but the yeah but at the same time man it's not everybody's gonna get it figured out like like michael asylum did you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah this is like right here look right here i like that Look at a bust a fucking face up. Shit. That looks Yeah, crazy. that's cool. The uh, the choice to not include much background is a good one. Yeah, because then I'm more focused on what's happening right there in front of me. Not and what's then, going on behind them. Yeah. And then what is he doing in the bottom left? I mean, bottom. Yeah, that's left. Uh... Bad with directions. He's taking off his um, he's taking off the enemy's armor, his his uh ammo, okay, and shit, and then taking off. Damn, that looks that's pretty good. Ooh, Ooh. Uh, okay. The plane, I like it. First glance, I like, I like the color theory here. Yes. Right there on the top with the purples and blues. Uh, but then when you get down to here, it's splotchy. It's red. I like the red. It it, it contributes to the color theory. It, it right, completely... down at the bottom. Yeah. The it. middle panel. The yeah. middle panel's weird. That's the one that's throwing me off. It's like maybe I'm being picky. Maybe I'm such a bitch. Maybe I'm such an asshole. It's <laughs> just so picky. But I like the old, the old look to it. I get that point. But are there holes? Are there holes in it? I don't know. Because if you look here, there's you don't see it. You don't see any holes. But then you get down here. Are the are those supposed to be windows? Like the with like jagged edges at the edge at the end. Do you see it at the yeah, end? Yeah, I see it. I keep forgetting you can't see my mouse. Yeah. No, I see it. That's weird. I, okay, that's weird. Call me a hmm. bitch, but that's weird. That that's part. Weird, but you were I this like the style, but that is like is it is it is it broken? I can't really tell from this distance. If it is, correct me. You know. If, it, <laughs> if it's broken? Yeah. You know what I mean? No. No, I don't think so. 
Uh, yes and no. I'm kind of kind of in the middle of that. Uh, he says the jagged edge things are the airframe. Okay. I don't know what an airframe is. I, yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you you gonna have to explain it a little more. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a I don't know anything about mechanics. I don't either, uh, but I do know that Barb is just kicking ass and taking names and gifting more memberships. Barb, what? And has girl, a what you do? Yes, one of my good mods here. God, girl, look at you. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Let's have a little pep up of music. Why not? Thank you for your generosity. You truly mean the world to me. Detracting with us or supporting comics, gay. Make this stream truly great. Thank you so much, Barb. I appreciate you. Uh, I used to work on helicopters. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Well, in that case, well, that looks correct. Um, but I don't like. I don't like. I. It's not. It's not connect. It's not connected. It's not. I don't. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like this middle panel. I don't. I'm not digging it. But when you get down here in the I'm bottom, right with it. yeah. When and then when you get down to me, when I get down to the bottom, I'm like okay, that's nice. I mean, I guess I get the idea of what this middle panel's doing. I get it, but it's just. I don't know. I'm blonde. Maybe I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like what's going on here. The aluminum with lots of holes in it. Cool. Okay. Well, I do like that. Ooh. Yeah, see, now this is nice. This is nice. This is really pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love this. Holy shit. Look at the colors. Oh my goodness. From here, it's like beautiful. Yeah. With the blues, the light baby like blues. And then you see here in the bottom of the panel the group of people looks like. What them standing over the edge looking. Yeah, that's the like base. Great for the eyes too. My it's I got the great eye uh line of sight, you know. You got the yeah. very bright distance. And then we got the darker objects come closer to the bottom of the page. We get more of the world. And also it's like establishes the depth, which is really cool. What's going on here? What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I guess they're going down the hill and they see the fence and they're cutting the fence to get through past security on the base. What's happening in the far left panel? I think they're sliding down that hill. That's what I'm guessing. Cause look, they're um, they're over on the on the hill ledge. They're looking over the base right here. And then you come down. This looks like maybe they or maybe they're just sitting all together. But then you go straight to this panel. So maybe No, I guess they wouldn't be sliding down the hill. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing in the far left. I'm panel. not sure either. But then when you get to the middle and then to the to the right, then you get it. Yeah, that's clear. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I understand the decision to do that. Um, right. You you yeah. gotta make it has to be clear that like something's happening. Um, yeah. Because to me, I thought, oh well, they're going down the hill. To cut the fits. But then when you sit and look at it a little bit longer. It looks like they're all just sitting in a circle. You know. So, uh, actually. Okay. Uh, you don't like the purple coloring. Here's. here's I, I agree with you. Now I. I, I think. Um, if you scroll up. You go to like where it's really pretty right. Mm -hmm. And it's like wow this looks great. And then you scroll down. This yeah, seems a little random. bit just it's just kind of random. Like mm -hmm. um uh, is it's just, it's, like the it's, it's, too many cooks in the kitchen. That's really 
funny Good point to put it yeah yeah i'm not exactly yeah it does seem like another person colored it yeah they should have just let whoever did these two these finish the the rest down here that is weird why would you make it that's weird um, and then this one okay see and then you're they're continuing on that shade okay the second panel on the right okay that's cool that's kind of like a death scene so i can get the look on that and see them drag the body a bunch of people guy getting a guy a guy flies up <laughs> something in a warehouse a bunch of guys look over more dudes arrive in an elevator. <laughs> two dudes. Guy points a gun at a wall. Planes. A guy looking at the computer. <laughs> Air plane hanger. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he stole a bomb. <laughs> but still, yeah, it's like. Oh, is this little frame? What the like fuck's that? happening <laughs> here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> all right, so that's that's all of it. Okay. Well, <laughs> some of these are great. Some of these are like, what the fuck's happening? Some of these are, eh. but some of these yeah. are great. So, let's see. They've had it up since November fourteenth of twenty twenty two. They have two thousand nine hundred ninety five backers. Uh, they are two thousand two hundred thirty nine thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars. Well, that's, that's doing pretty good. Pretty okay. good. Okay. John Rambo's first tour of duty in Vietnam. Hmm. Before the critical drinker met. bundle. Oh, where is Interesting. that? Interesting. Right here. Photograph every three minutes of content. There was a slideshow I could flip through. That's how I <laughs> 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 Alright. Yeah, so the critical drinker bundle. This perk uh will be mailed with fulfillment center and blah blah blah. Um it includes pen up, two pen ups, first kill graphic novel. A new kind of war comic book, dog and dog tags. It just seems like I'm purchasing dog tags yeah. with this comic book. Book plus pen up. Very clever <laughs> book. Pen up. Wow. The hard you know, drinker. Maybe... What is that? You get. Um... One pen up plus hardcover expendables go to hell graphic novel plus pen up plus the critical drinker's new blood comic book plus okay. pen up plus dog tags. All right, interesting. All right. Yeah, all five books and pen ups, and that seems like to be the end of the list. I wonder if EVS knows about this. Oh, this is so weird. It is weird. It's Barbara, so what, what have you given us? <laughs> it seems like a zine. Yeah. And of all the people, I mean, there's some big names on the list on who's working on this besides Matt Barr. We don't count Matt Barr. But like, okay. I'm going to save the link to this. Well, um, Barb, Barb Rogers, you have definitely, uh, I did not know about this. This well, was okay. fun. Thank you. Yeah, this was it. fun. Thank you no for problem. this. <laughs> not wow. a problem, yeah. Wow, we, that was interesting, man. <laughs> yes, it sure was. Uh, we saw a wide range of artists, talents from... <laughs> From uh, from art directors, cartoonists to professional artists, and then professional oh. assholes. <laughs> they can't <Yeah>. draw. <laughs> that 
That was oh fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it is like 2.18 in the morning where I'm at. So I'm going nice. to go ahead and put the stream down. And let me put the link to that in the chat for y'all in case y'all want to go look at it yourself. Autisticboobs.com. Yep. Autisticboobs.com. Autisticboobs Check it out. And then uh, let me see. And then uh, what other link do I have? Let me put also, uh, you know, go support some Clipperverse, get some items. I need to check and out the me merchandise store. Daily movie reviews every day at 7 p.m. ET. Yep. And I got it right here. Guys, could check that out too. Help a girl out. Yeah, this was good, man. This was good. This is a good good way to end my birthday stream. Woo. We got to see a campaign we never really thought of. Shit on Matt a little bit. You know, we it's been good. It's been a good one. <laughs> yeah, it has been a great one. Yeah. I'm glad I glad I'm glad we had a chill time. I know. Yeah. As, man. The, as the youthling say. Am I am I saying it right? Yeah, yes, the youthling. <laughs> We, we chill, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Be sure to check it out. I'm going to play a fun little clip here at the stream to close us out. Please be sure to follow Clippa and Mint. Uh, you got for uh, Cannon Steak. Uh, for live. Cannon Steak. Yes, for Cannon Steak. Dot com. For Cannon Steak Live. Dot com. For Cannon Steak. Dot live. For Cannon Steak. Dot live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Eric check has doc Eric has four cannon steak dot com. So we have four cannon steak dot live. Just to there explain. You there you go. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat. So oh, it has TJ been a fun says, time. What does critical drinker have to do with this? As he wrote the story, man. That I put the link in the chat, TJ, if you want to go check it out. It was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much, Barb. Thank you for gifting memberships tonight. Everybody, thank you for the wonderful super chats and celebrating my birthday and having some fun with me. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side. Enjoy this clip from Wizard of Wordplay. Guys, I love y'all. Love Comicscape. And we will see you soon. Take it easy. Any comics there are must Go by the lakeside tailgate down Like no place in the world to be When I got CG I'm a rebel outsider Outlaw ain't that right Standing tall for the comic I put my side frog in my truck bed Comics stay strong, no say On my dash, back in comics left and right, y'all know I have that cash. Open up a boarded one, share it with my boys, trading cards, posters, games, even bought some toys. I'm a rebel outsider, outlaw.